If you're not aware, we have done Security Breach and the DLC uh, Ruin in VR, and true VR. Right now we haven't injected VR yet, so don't worry, VOD viewers skip ahead a little bit, we'll get to this. Uh, Poppy Playtime has been on my list since day one. Whoa, don't blink at me. Poppy Playtime, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, Chapter 3, whatever, we're gonna start with just Chapter 1 today. It's all been on my list since day one. I've been extremely excited to try Poppy Playtime in VR because it just seems like one of those games that would go extremely well with the VR the setup the same way that Security Breach and Ruin did. So, I, I did some testing today. It's not going to work exactly the same as it did before. In fact, my hands are not going to be used. It sucks. I'm going to have to use keyboard and mouse, at least for Chapter 1. Uh, chapter 2, I'm not sure about. Chapter 3, I know we can use my hands at least a little bit. It's not the same because the grab pack, unfortunately, both hands are one mesh, so I can't separate them into separate hands. But we can at least get it to where one hand will work for Chapter 3. I don't know about Chapter 2. I'll have to test that. Um, but with this one, we're going to have to use keyboard and mouse. There's not even any controller support for this game. I could use regular controller and force it in, but these controllers are a no-go, unfortunately. But I will get it so that the icon, like the uh, interaction icon, will follow my face. So that's, that's something. At least that'll get some immersion. But I'm extremely excited for this. Uh, I was going to go somewhere else with that and explain more stuff, but I for gore, so whatever. <laughs> I hate all problems. I already know uh, the lady of these games, so I don't have to constantly ask what's going on. Yeah, the, the lore of these games, I don't know the lore, like the deep lore, but I at least know like the gameplay loop. But it's also been a while, so chapter one, I, I mean, I've seen it a million times, I know what's going to happen. But at least we get a good look on the outside of things. Chapter two, I've kind of mostly forgotten. Chapter 3, I've like half forgotten, and Chapter 3 I know is going to be horrifying in VR, so I'm excited for that. But let's start with Chapter 1. What's going to happen here, right now, I'm going to take my hands off, put those off to the side. I know, I can't believe it, I have to get rid of my hands for this. Alright, how are we doing? Is everything even wor Is anything working? Are we here? Is everything good? I think it's good. I can't tell. I'm just going to assume it is. Because you guys haven't screamed at me yet, so it's probably fine. Okay, I'm going to put this, and we're going to inject. I'll give it a second. There we go. It's initializing. Now we're going into VR. All right. Whoa. Okay, yeah. So it's doing that. That looks really weird. Uh, okay. Everything's working for you guys, though. It's following my face around. I don't like that, but once we get in, then that will that will be fine. And UI follows view. Oh, okay. It's already doing that because, uh, because of what I did for it. Okay. So once we get in, you'll see why this is important. For right now, it's kind of weird. I can't see the edges of the UI, so I'm just going to have to, like, do this. All right. This is going to be weird. Here we go. Click. Did I miss it? I missed it. Play. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, I can't read this. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to turn this off temporarily, and then we'll come back to this. So right now, it's... Uh, which one is it? Runtime? No. Input. That's what it is. Okay, this. A method game. There we go. Okay, so we'll start with that, and then we'll change that back once we get in. All right, so for right now, I have to use my mouse, and I can't even see my mouse, which is great. Okay. Chapter 1, a tight squeeze. And uh, Oh, boy, we're off to a good start. I can't read. As the next employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. All right. As we all, we all know this beautiful, beady-eyed face. We've been through this before. But it's time to see him in a whole new light. The VR. Alright, here we go. Whenever it loads. It's really loading. It's really thinking about loading. I, I want to look forward for this so we can I can let it do its thing. Is did I did I miss? Did the game Oh I clicked out of the game. I'm an idiot. That's what happened. I didn't actually hit new game. I thought I was waiting for it to load. Oh, there we go. I hit it. Okay, now we're going. All right, we'll watch this. Oh, that's bright. Jesus. Ah. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. All right. Her name is Poppy. Nope. And she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. I don't like Poppy. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Sir, your mouth is not Finally, syncing up with the audio. Just watch. Y y wow, your audio was way ahead of your mouth. Poppy, 
Oh, hi, Poppy. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl. Oh, boy. And she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. I'm sure you Can do, you Poppy. polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. What is up with the marketing her hair desire and won't come out when you brush it. to be like, oh, she's a real just girl, like just Poppy like you. Like, that's is creepy. Else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Why? Just like you. I, that does not make me want to buy that doll. And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite Yuck. toys were created, I don't. Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours. I'm good. Two ninety nine a person. I mean, it's An really cheap. Hour and the most magical toy factory on earth. What are you waiting for? Yeah, even the Come babies, the, the, the baby dolls there are saying no. All right, we gotta find the flower. I know where that is, and I know what's back there. Now it's time to find it in VR. Poppy Playtime in VR! All right, I feel like the audio was slightly desynced there. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Vintage Poppy commercial. I'm glad it knows that it's vintage. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You would have written that on it later. But I feel like it would have still said something else from the past. Whatever. All right, we're loading. Here we go. There we go. All right. So right now you can see the the cursor is in the center. And this is why it's th this is why I wanted it to follow my face, right? So I can look around right now. Wow, that's weird. The leaves are floating. What is up with games and having things on the floor that float? What is up with that? That, that that's so weird. All right. I don't think Poppy likes you either. Yeah, I don't. I you know, I don't really care that Poppy doesn't like me. Because I don't want to be here in the first place. Like, what what made me... I mean, okay, like, I get it. We're here to find what happened to my co-workers ten years ago. Why did I come back? I don't care that much. I, like, I come here, I see this, it's abandoned, whatever. I am not going further than this. I'm just not. It's not going to happen. Uh, do you think you'll meet the plus goal? I have no idea what that even means, Awesome Sheep. But, uh, yeah, sure, maybe. Yeah, why not? Um, alright, here's what I'm gonna do. First, uh, you guys are- no, you're not off. I'm off. Okay. I need to adjust my view in-game real quick. Can we do this? Recenter, so I'm facing the right way. There we go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, since I don't have hands and I can't use my hands, I'm going to go into my input and change the aim method to my head. So now, you can see the cursor stays in the center wherever I'm looking. I don't know how that looks for you guys. I hope that looks okay. Uh, because the idea is that, okay, now I move in the, where I'm facing. I can still move the mouse to, like, adjust. But now, it's at least a little bit more immersive. I would rather use my hands, but I, I just, it's not an option here, unfortunately. Probably makes them have a deeper connection, like a friendship or something. I highly doubt that. I don't know. I haven't been a kid for a while, so maybe not. All right, this is going to be very weird to do because of this method, and I might change it if it gets annoying, but it is is—it is weird. It's, so, it's also very weird having a giant interaction icon in front of my face, but... All right, so doing this in VR, obviously, I will not be the first person to try things like this. Obviously, there have been people who have uh, gone out of bounds and seen all kinds of stuff, but I'm going to stick my head out of walls. Like I t like to do with this. Wow. Oh, that's far. Okay. Oh, there's a trigger right there. Okay. And I can see the sky. Um. There's nothing really much out here. So that that you're gonna you're gonna see that a lot. I love to do that in these games when I play them in VR. Stick my head out of walls and just see what is out there. Although I know there's very rarely gonna be anything of value out there. Is this just gonna go into the other room? Okay, no, I don't know. Okay, well, I know the code, but we'll go into the room anyway, just because I want to see it. Yeah, well, moving like this is very strange, because I, I move in the direction that I'm facing, which is not what I want to do, but it's the best I can do. Hello, train. It's, uh, um, let's see if I remember it. Uh, pink, green, yellow, red? Oh, green, pink, yellow, red. Okay, that was close. 
Next, uh, next to the sub goal, it says creators must maintain point requirements for three consecutive months to be eligible for the plus program. Right, that's annoying. I highly doubt we'll reach that. I don't know. We're still pretty, pretty much in our infantile stages of that, to for that to work. Down here. Anything? Oh, it extended out. Huh. Well, I can't look through there because the stupid fence is in the way, but that's okay. It is very cool to see these details. Like, look at that. You never look at this. It's seven, eight, no, that's... Oh, that is correct. That looked weird. Huh. Maybe I'll remove the stupid... Maybe I'm not going to follow the... Whoa! Well, that's just different. That's not what I was... What's in the box over there? All right, yeah, I don't think I'm going to let the... I don't think I'm going to do this. That's annoying. I think I'll just stick to this. Yeah. Because it's, it, it's annoying. I can get it out of the way if I wanted to. So I can... Whoa. Okay, the mouse is still moving. But I can do that to where I now have more control over where I'm looking. And it doesn't have a stupid cursor in the way at all times, you know? I don't know. Tell me what you think looks better. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, we, we won't see Huggy yet. Where's my cursor? There's my cursor. We won't see Huggy for a little while. Because he's not there yet. You can see Huggy... To, oh. What is that? Let's hop over the counter real quick, actually. Because if you come back here, you'll see Huggy doesn't even exist yet. Huggy's a lie. Look at that area, though. Okay, so all of that's loaded. There's a couple boxes over there. That's weird. Yeah, none of this is even loaded yet. Huh. Kind of smart. Also kind of weird. Yeah, I think I like this better. All right. Uh, green. Pink. Yellow. Red. That is really hard to do in VR because I, when I do that, when I get close to things and I go to click on it, I see two cursors because my eyes get crossed. That's trippy. All right, what's out here? Oh, okay. Uh, nothing in the void. A random spotlights in the sky. Maybe those are other parts of the. I'm assuming that's probably other parts of the level later. Yeah, I'll get to you in a second. What's up with the random boxes? And broken glass? Oh, there's the red hand. Wow, spoilers. So that area over there is the red hand area. So this is... Wow, that's connected. Wait, don't we go through this conveyor belt? So you're telling me that this area gets unloaded. And then we come back through and we're in a different area? Okay, this facility's a lie. I mean, we, we probably knew this going in. What is with that keyboard? Who... <laughs> the 70s called... And they, I mean, they want it, I don't think even the 70s wants their keyboard back. I think they want you to wash your hands. Good lord. Alright, how's everything running? Are we running smooth? Has there been any lag? This is the important thing. In fact, that was something I wanted to check, actually, in the middle of this. Let's, let me hop out for a second. I want to take a look at the VOD and make sure that there's no discrepancy between what you guys are seeing and what the VOD sees. Because we've had problems in the past where the VOD looks different than the actual stream did. So, oh, I can't even see this right now. I need to go here. I need to publish it, even though it's live. And then go to here. Take a look at this. Let's make sure it actually looks smooth the way I think it should. I can't see it. Why can't I see it? This is this is rude. Why what do you mean? Yeah, yes, publish it. Why okay, I literally can't right now. That's I don't know what happened. I did not do this. Wait, so I literally can't check it. Why can't I check this? It's my stream. <laughs> I'm I'm trying so hard and it's just it's just not gonna let me really I mean it looks smooth but I don't I don't get that that doesn't make any sense okay well I guess I'll just leave it and hope I was really hoping that that would work but all right we're just gonna pray hey Rose how's it going uh, I was trying to take a look at the VOD um, of this stream as it's up because I know you can do that but it literally won't let me it won't even let me publish this stream while it's live even though I've been able to do that in the past and I know other people have been able to do that I don't know why all of a sudden that's a problem with my streams but 
oh well. Hopefully it's smooth, because we had a problem last time during Ruin where supposedly, at least, it looked smooth for you guys, but it just did not look smooth at all for the VOD. Like, after the stream finished, the recorded VOD was laggy, but only for the game, which does not make any sense. It should be exactly the same. So, I don't know what the problem is. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. I think I've dropped some settings, I've changed a lot of things. This should be as smooth as humanly possible. So, fingers crossed. Hey, Kate, how's it going? Uh, Twitch said no. Twitch loves to say no. All right, let's let's do this. What does that say? Grab pack training. Wow, I've never gotten a close enough look at that. Look at the reflections. That's actually great. Like, I have my graphic settings on high, so if we need to drop those further, we can. It's not on ultra, but even, even on high, that looks great. It looks fake, but it looks great. All right, I'll take that. And uh, this is a massive TV. I don't think this translated. Uh, it probably still doesn't for you guys. This does not trend in VR. Oh my God. Why? Like that is the size of my childhood TV. Cause we had one of those box TVs that was supposed to be like, oh, it's HD before HD existed. Um, and it was giant. Like this is almost the size of that. It was probably like a third larger. It's just in general. But, Jesus, man. Why such a thick box TV? Oh. oh. Hey, princess, how's it going? Playtime go. Here we go. Grab pack time. Tighten the straps. Hold both cannons. I love that they're called cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold the grip on objects. Only fire at small objects and handles. Do not fire at a coworker. Okay, but what if I wanted to? Jerry was being a little rude. And I gotta teach him a lesson. Wire is conductive. Used for rewiring. This seems so not practical. Like, there are so many better ways. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. Um, I will not. What's the time? Playtime! I feel like that's- this is one of those device- that is huge! Oh my god, it's huge! That is ridiculous! I am not wearing this on my back! You're kidding me! It's in the ceiling? Okay. There's no way this is being put on my back. That's not happening. I don't- I don't think you guys understand. This is like- on, on my body, it would be this big. That is ridiculous. I'm going to measure this. It is this big. It's this tall. Like, that is a scale that does not translate to the game. Look, that is ridiculous. Oh, hi, hand. Okay, so this is an interesting thing about the way Poppy Playtime works. Okay, this hand is tiny. Th this hand is like half the size of my actual hand. And it's attached to my face because I literally can't put it on my arm, unfortunately. I mean, I can, but then I can't even use the controller. And it also, weird thing that I, I learned earlier. In fact, I'll just, I'll show you guys this. So if I go into here, common objects, acknowledge pawn, components, and I attach this hand, which would be, which one is it? I think it's this one. If I attach left, no, it's not that one. Um, which one is it? Is it this? Attach left? No. What? Which one is it? Uh. Oh wait, it's probably because I need to do this as well. Uh, it's probably is this. Attach left. Yeah, there we go. So if I attach it here, you can see I can actually hold my arm like this. Whoa. Um, but the the controller doesn't work like a regular controller. But also, if I hold the hand over here and I click. <laughs> It still comes out from over there. And I could not find the start point anywhere as a component, so I have no idea how to adjust that. Plus, I would still have to click, which would make it impossible for me to do this and also move because, you know, there's no controller support. Later in Chapter 3, at least, I don't know if this still stands for Chapter 2, but in Chapter 3, at least, we could do this, but the problem is both hands are the same mesh, so I literally wouldn't be able to use both hands but I can at least use one hand later on 
but for now, that's fine. Also, the, you know, that just goes to show how tiny this hand is. Like, I, I cannot explain to you. Like, I can't, I literally can't show you how tiny that hand is, but it is tiny. Either way, we're gonna have to treat this like we did with Gregory in Security Breach, where the hand is just next to my face at all times. But at least then it will work, like, as, as intended. But it's still weird. All right. Remember the TV on the rolling stands in school? So think about, okay, think about that. The the TV that they would roll in at school was probably half this size. This is massive. Like, okay, this, I'll, I'll do the thing again. This is this large of a TV. The ones that they had were like this. This is huge. All right. What are with these uh, children's play places and huge vents? I mean, you know what? That's a good point. This is perfectly child-sized. Like, as an adult, it would be kind of hard for me to fit in there, probably. But as a child? That's a perfectly child-sized vent. But also, that vent has to be that big because of how big this grab pack is. It's ridiculous. All right, I give exact measurements, very detailed. Look, it's the closest I can get, okay? Oh, here's a good example. This monitor is probably a lot closer to the TVs that they would roll in at school than this is. This thing is gigantic. That is ridiculous. I think it's because of how tall it is. All right, anyway, enough enough gushing. Wait a second. Look at that table. Look at the table deloading. It becomes a mess. That's funny. All right, yeah, let's stick our head out of here again. So you can see over there, there's all the boxes. There's the red hand that we'll get later, and there's the grabber for that. So weirdly enough, when we go through the vents, I believe we go this way through the vents, which means we end up back here, but it's a different area. Surprise, surprise. Everything is not how it seems. Okay, we've spent a long time in this intro area. Obviously, there's not that much going on here. I don't know what's up with all the security over here, literally right next to the entrance. That's kind of weird. Hey, I'll take you. Can I not take you? Thank you. I want... Come with... Thank you, buddy. Weird. Oh, my God. Poppy and your giant eyes. Good Lord. Just waiting for a, a child, so go die in the vents. Well, I'm not a child. I am, I am a full-grown adult. Uh, child's B of E, so everything seems huge. Uh, no, I am not a child. I am an ex-employee of the company in this game. And I am perfectly average height, actually, in this, weirdly enough. I mean, I'm sitting down, so I'm probably not as tall as I should be. Am I? No, I kind of am. Yeah, I guess I am. I'm a very short man. <laughs> and that's not a reflection of my real existence. This is just, I am a short man. All right, let's watch the green tape. Laith Pierre, I did, I think it said, I, I didn't read that. Tab to view items. Oh, I can't see my mouse, so never mind. Oh, Laith Pierre, I didn't see it again. Whoa. Hi, my name is Laith Pierre. Hi, Laith Pierre. I'm the head of innovation here is at that the his hand? Time Co oh, that's, Victory. that's Huggy's hand. This, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we played this little well. tape on loop whenever we closed the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, Great. which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And I feel like none of that's true. That's one of the more tame aspects of our security yeah. system. The no accurate toilet. ones are huggy. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. It, I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Um, that's usually not something you say to intruders. Usually you say, like, turn around. We will contact the police. Don't try to go any further. It's not worth it, bro. Don't be an idiot. Whoa, it's dark. Oh, why is there just a wall there? There's just a wall right there. That's weird. It's broken glass. Yeah, this place is a mess. Whoa! Where? Hand? Why? <laughs> my hand started spinning my body. Also, we didn't look at any of these. Boogie Bot. I love Boogie Bot. What are you? Where are you? Are you the cat thing? 
What, what are you? I can't. I'm aiming at the wrong things. I want to flip it. Oh, yep. Candy Cat. I think I said this the first time I played this game. Uh, they definitely stole that straight from Candy Cadet. All right. Uh, child labor can exist. I mean, you are technically correct in that. And you know what? Actually, that would explain a lot of things. That would explain so much about the oddities of this game and this story and the fact that I'm tiny. It's like, okay, I'm small. I'm a small child, but also these doorways are... I guess they could tailor them to children. That does... That would make sense. Okay, so here's here's my theory. Let's let's get into my game theories already. Uh, it's been like 20 seconds, but let's, let's do it. Um, what if I am a child... Employ like, ex-child employee, even though apparently... No, I would be like 20 still at this point because this is 10 years later, supposedly. Is that a balloon? What is that? Oh, that's a baby head. No, thank you. That is awful. You are the, oh God, your eyes. I hate everything about that. Ew, ew, go away. No. Is that another one? I can't tell anymore. Anyway, okay, theory time before we get in here because this is things are about to change. Unless this loaded already? No, it didn't. Okay, this is still all unloaded. Interesting. Um, my theory is I was a really young child when I was put to work at this company. It doesn't say how long I worked here, but I'm now an ex-employee coming back 10 years later. Let's just say I'm like 12. I was employed at 2. Huh. See the problem with this theory? Okay, let's let's suspend our disbelief for a little bit. Uh, maybe I'm a really small teenager. Okay, and I'm coming back to the, the, the factory 10 years later to investigate and figure out what happened to my co-workers. That would explain why I'm stupid enough to continue and go find my co-workers. And that explains why I worked here in the first place, because it's a toy factory. I love toys, and I wanted to make toys, and uh, my parents forced me into this industry with no explanation. Uh, other than the fact that it made them money, and I got to play with toys every once in a while. Uh, that would explain a lot of the oddities of this. Also, the fact that I am tiny. I am real short. That makes sense, right? If you were seven when you... Uh, how's our chat? The actual video game, like a phone screen? I have you guys pinned down here, so you guys are here at all times. Yeah, Princess, if you haven't seen the edited versions of the uh, the streams yet, you're going to want to go to YouTube and search for I Played All of Security Breach in VR. You'll find the new channel, and you'll get to experience a lot of what we've done here so far in VR stuff. It's very cool. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot more of this. There's a lot of stuff planned for VR stuff, but you'll get to see a lot more of the uh, the phone that I have stuck down here. Yeah, new channel. New channel, new videos, new main channel. It's the new main channel, but I haven't posted it anywhere yet because I'm trying to let YouTube do its thing authentically. That's why I say you have to search for it. Because if I link it, then I get a bunch of bad impressions. If I let you guys search for it and find it yourselves, then uh, that's a positive experience. They're like an hour and a half long videos, so I don't. if you're, if you're not ready to watch it, don't worry about it. But that is something that... Uh, you guys should definitely look into if you guys haven't already. And if you guys haven't subscribed to that new one, you'll find it. It's called Vano. It's my face. You'll know it. To, you, you'll know it when you when you see it. All right. New channel just dropped. Yeah, Omni knows. Omni's been there. Omni's in it, technically. Hey. hey. Um. Anyway, where was I going? I uh, lore. I I think I finished my sentence. Probably, maybe. All right. Here we go. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Okay. This, and now stick my head through it, and we're going to watch this happen. All right. Yep. Oh, my God. He just loads immediately. Okay. Well, yep, that is... I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I probably should have been expecting exactly that. Oh, boy. All right. Whoa. Did anything unload? Because we can still go back. Like, this is me noping out. I should get an achievement for this. Can I leave... Cause that would be real cool. Nope. Anything out here now? Nope. Same thing, still just the random trigger box right there that you literally can't reach. So why is that there? I don't understand. I can't grab it. Huh. I don't think anything unloaded. Maybe this area changed. 
because this was different before. Uh, whoa! Hi! You loaded in. Why are you part of this? What is up there? There's so many just weird little things that load at weird times. It doesn't really make sense. Alright, whatever. Let's carry on. Otherwise, we are going to be here for many, 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 many hours, and I don't want to do that. Oh, good lord. You know, honestly, based on the scale of everything so far, I was kind of expecting you to be taller. You're kind of short in comparison to what I was expecting. Can I get up to you? Oh, I don't, well, I don't, I'm so, I didn't mean to look there. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was not the first place I meant to look. Can I, if I high five you, will you forgive me? Thanks, bro. Cool. I'm gonna assume that's a yes. Huggy Wuggy. 1984 to... Why do they add a dash like there's a death date? Why is Huggy gonna die? Why do they assume Huggy's gonna die? I don't like that. Can I press that? Hate it. Please don't. Whoa. Okay, that's all loaded. Make a friend over there. Are we lagging, boys? Is everything good still? Uh, yes, I'm actually the mimic. Yeah, Omni is actually secret. The I mean, uh, no, uh, there's no the uh, Omni is um. Om Omni's Gregory. Omni comes back as Gregory to fight Cassie, in a battle to the death. Uh, these rooms don't ever go anywhere, do they? Yeah, testing. Unless that. Unless I didn't go far enough. Oh, oh, it's a closet. Oh, okay. Sure. All right, the testing room uh, confirmed. Testing room is secretly a red closet. Good, good, no. Innovation? That's actually, that's a good icon of Poppy. Oh, oh my God. Okay, pure darkness. Nothing back here. Okay, uh, Poppy, Poppy is innovation is a lie. It makes sense. She's not very innovative. I have to stick my head so far through these doors. These doors are thick. A uh, theater? Why is there a theater in the factory? Oh, the door is so thick, and there's nothing behind it again. Whoa. Yeah, no, I'm reaching the edge of my bounds. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, this is a room that we have to go through. So, nope, nothing loaded. All right, that room's not loaded yet. What the cafeteria? Cafeteria makes sense. See, that's one of the few areas that makes sense so far. And this one's not a closet. Oh, it is a closet. You can see it's just there's no lighting in there. Huh, you can see the corner over there. Weird. I mean, it makes sense. They're blocking lighting from going in there. Oh, my microphone is far away now. <laughs> Jesus. Whew. Everything's good? Okay, cool. Strangely offended by being called Gregory. No, Omni, you didn't get it because you called yourself the Mimic and we can't give spoilers. You're Gregory. Remember? No spoilers. All right. Wow, okay, the, so here's what's interesting, right? I talk about scale a lot when I talk about these VR games, or the, these games in VR. So, like, if we go back and we, you know, we just compare what I was talking about with the TV, right? The TV over here, the scale of this TV really doesn't make sense because it's just massive. Also, these, no plug is gonna fit in those, absolutely not. Um, and those plugs are ridiculously scale. That, like, that size does not make any sense. But, like, so this does not make sense for what it's trying to be. The chairs, that's fine. The, the, these TVs, that's fine. This computer monitor, that's totally fine. All, like, all of that is great. Everything else makes sense. Even this toy. Like, this toy is giant, but, I mean, that would be, like, a $20 plushie, right? So, nothing too crazy. However, we come into here with that scale in mind, right? And, like, these blocks. These blocks are huge. Like, these plushies... That's a that's an accurate size to like a huggy wuggy plushie. This would be a sixty dollar plushie, maybe even seventy or eighty now with inflation. But like this, that is an expensive plushie. But it makes sense for the scale. Sorry, buddy, didn't mean to domino you over. Don't look at me like that. Uh, but this dude, like being the big bad, I was expecting him to be so much larger. The dome itself is massive. Like, it feels like this dude should be twice as big, or at least like a third larger, you know? If I crouch and I'm a child, it makes sense why they wouldn't do that. That would be horrifying. But 
For what this is trying to be, it feels like he should be so much larger. Weirdly. Uh, don't blow my cover. Size doesn't always matter. It doesn't always matter, but it matters here. It matters when I slap him in the face. Alright. Uh, let's get to move on again, otherwise we're going to be here forever. I also, I want to point this out. Where do those go? And why does this one go somewhere, but this one doesn't? Like, this one stops... Oh, it does go in there. Never mind. What? Is that just, like, supposed to be a conveyor belt for toys to be displayed as it goes by? That's weird. My camera. Camera's not working. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay, we haven't gone here. This is where I'm supposed to go, I think. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Wait, no, that's where we came from. Where do we go? Oh, this way. Duh. Duh. Okay, so is this... Yeah, this is where we're going, right? Yeah, that's where we end up going. Splap. And it shuts down the power. You're not gone, right? Okay, good. You chill there. I knew it. That key is way too big. This is what I mean when I talk about scale. He is tiny in comparison to the size of that key. Boom! Jesus Christ. Oh my god, thank you Lunar Poppy Playtime fan for the follow, good lord. How do you play this in VR? Okay, I'll, I'll do this explanation. I, I do tend to explain this a few times. I'm using a software called UEVR. It's, it calls itself a mod. It's technically a mod injector. Uh, it's a software that allows you to inject VR into Unreal Engine games. This game was made in Unreal Engine 4, I believe? Maybe Unreal Engine 5? But it was made after a time where VR is a capability with Unreal Engine. So, I can use this injector mod to force VR into this game. So, I did this with Security Breach. I've now done this with Security Breach Ruin. And now we're doing this... <laughs> and now we're doing this with uh, Poppy Playtime. And we're going to do this with each of the three chapters. Uh, right now, you can see my hand is not attached to my actual hand. I have to use keyboard and mouse for this, unfortunately. Chapter 2, I think, will be similar. Well, we can change some things. But Chapter 3, I know that you can use at least your hands somewhat, because it has controller support. This doesn't have controller support. So we'll go from there. We're going to have to mess with it. But these will all be videos on the new channel. If you guys haven't seen the Security Breach stuff yet, just look for I Played All of Security Breach in VR. You'll find the new channel if you want to watch it. If not, don't search for it. That's why I'm not posting it anywhere. I'm letting YouTube do its job. Anyway... Yeah, that's how we do it. It's it's very cool that we're able to do this kind of stuff. So we're going to be playing uh, this. We'll play Chapter 2 uh, later once we edit this video. And then we'll do Chapter 3 as well in the future. Uh, and I have other plans as well for other games. So I'm very excited to see how this goes. All right. Give me give me the key. Let's get going. All right. I like to peek through walls. This is my favorite thing. I've talked... Whoa. Okay. I, I love peeking through walls in VR. Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's just probably the other side. Okay, we're going to be in there in a second, I think. Oh, no, we're not. Really? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, see, this is why... Oh, okay. Double wall. This is why it's so fun for me to, like, peek through walls in VR is because you see stuff that you're probably not supposed to... S oh, that was the door. You see stuff you're probably not supposed to see. Like this. He's still chilling. He's 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 fine over there. I'm gonna play House Party Simulator. You know, honestly, that'd be a fun play. That'd be a fun playthrough in VR. Don't don't ask why. Don't don't question me. Whoa. Yeah, just a lot of things. To, all right, let, let's get a move on. I know you guys want to see me get scared. But I love what what is like what is that? This is a random hallway. That probably doesn't go anywhere. All right, let's let's carry on. What do I do here? It's been a while. Oh, this is the part. Okay, this is the side where that little writing was, I think. But there's no writing here. Where? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is the opposite side of that. Interesting. So the texture just is flipped on the other side. Huh. That's cool. Jesus. I'm sorry. Man, for being an ex-employee, I sure am clumsy. All right, give me this. Oh, this is really this is really weird in VR because it's just going into my face. All right, slap that. Now, how does this work? We're just supposed to come around here and touch it. Okay, a little bit of lag, but that's it. And now you're gone. Oh, I wish I turned around and watched him disappear. 
It's alright. I know he just pops out of existence. It's nothing special. Okay. Glad it opens back up now. I'm glad they locked the door behind me. That makes sense. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, the lag. Oh, why are we lagging? It's because we're loading stuff, isn't it? Well, there's nothing that we can see there. We are lagging slightly, but nothing too crazy, thankfully. Why is the game so dark? Uh, really? Is it really, really lagging? Is it lagging like crazy? Are we, are we, are we stream lagging? Oh, we're real lagging. No, we're not. Okay, we're good. I think it's fine. I think we're good. My computer is screaming at me now. Uh, where did the game go? Give me the game. Thank you. Okay. Um, why is the game so dark? Is it really dark for you guys? Or is it just like... Because I could try to up the brightness. I don't want to. Because that keeps with the creep factor. But I don't want you guys to not be able to see things, you know? It's Huggy. He's making the lag. He ran away and... St he ran off with my frames. This is rude. And this happens every time there's a big bad in one of these games. They run off with my frames. I want to get a closer look at you. Now that he's gone, it's bright here. Oh, man. I want one of those. Like, I know they sell Huggy Wuggy plushies, but I want one that scale. Like, look at the size of that dude. He's like half of my body height. That's a weird way to say he's half my height. <laughs> All right. Uh, what did we do? Oh, we went... Okay, now we can go this way. Right. So I'm assuming that means this area loaded a lot more. Oh, you can see his hand preemptively. Oh, we can probably see through the wall to see his body. I want to see that. If we come back around here... Whoa, okay, lots of lag over here. Oh, I can't go there, but I can go here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Brighten that image up. Editing me. Brighten that one like crazy. He's just chilling there. That's funny. You know, I wonder if I do... Whoa, why is that down there? Um, well, that is annoying. Okay, if I do this, now I go over here and I go to... What did I just click? Settings, there we go. Oh my god, I can't see this. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I want to see this for a second, so I'll do this. There we go. Um, is there a brightness option? Brightness. Okay. There we go. That's that's brightened. Cool. Alright. Exit out of that. Now let's take a look. Well, that didn't really brighten that much, but you can see him there. Hanging out. Just chilling. Alright, bro. You do that. I'm gonna put the brightness back, because that is... Yeah, that is way too bright. This is max brightness. Don't worry about the lag. Why is it lagging so much? Load something over there. Yeah, that is, that is way too bright. Would you guys prefer it be this bright or dark and spooky? Oh, this is probably why it loaded something. Oh, I, I can't even go far enough there. Okay, well, that area is unloaded now. And that's blocked off. That sucks. I can't see through this. Oh, I gotta get really close. I just hit my monitor, didn't I? Okay, nothing's loaded over there. Interesting. Too bright? Dark and spooky? Okay, we'll switch it back. It's, yeah, it's very bright for sure, uh, like that. So let's just reset the brightness. There we go. That's better. Yeah, you guys give me conflicting signals all the time about how bright it is. Like right there. It's not bright enough. No, my eyes, it's too bright. <laughs> all right. Well, we already know what's behind this door. All right. I want to see you slip away, but I also want to see you slip away through the wall. Did he already do it? He already did it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, I know his hand slips by, but I guess he just disappears after it's gone. I want to go down the stairway to hell. Seems fun. Also, apparently... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's just the door is blocked by a wall. I know that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try something real quick. All right. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna look through the. Oh, well, headphones don't do this to me. Yeah. So there is a stairway modeled. If you guys didn't know, there's. I'm stuck. Okay. There is actually. Oh no, it's gonna stop me, isn't it? 
There, you can't see down there really, but the entire stairway is actually modeled. It's crazy. Like why? You can kind of see the stairs down there slightly. Like why did they bother? And there's the other side of the door. Like what is the point of that? Why would they spend the time? I guess they were planning on doing something with it, or like they still are in the future. Why would they spend the time to model the entire stairway if they didn't actually end up using it in the chapter? I'm assuming they have to use it later on, right? We're going to have to reconnect back to here at some point. All right, again, we're going to be stuck here for hours and hours on end if we don't get to move on. Oh, boy. That's a classic sound now. Whoa. There's red pipes over there. That's weird. Oh, it's so cool to see from the outside. I shouldn't be able to see it from the outside, but I love it. Whoa. Oh, this is a really nice view. Look at that. Okay, there's a stand over there. What is down there? There's a bunch of cubes blocking stuff off and the random boxes everywhere. I don't get what's up with the random spotlights in the sky unless the lights are always loaded and we'll get to that later. But, huh. Weird. I have no idea what you're saying, Chernobyl. You, you gotta speak English. <laughs> oh. Heat in the headset is wild. Alright. Alright. Where is it? Okay, yep, there it is. I still jumped. <laughs> I knew it was going and everything. That's what he said. Why can't I? Oh, there's just... There's multiple walls. There are so many multiple wall things. Whoa, that's weird. There's the blue tape player. Whoa, that's not loaded. Wait a second. The wall's not loaded there. What? Why? Is that a VR thing or did I just do something stupid? Whoa, more wall. Okay, we loaded more stuff. Oh, there's the... Okay, interesting. So this definitely uses a very similar loading style that Security Bridge uses, which is... You walk down one, like, hallway area, and then there's a door blocking the next area. While you're in that hallway with the door, the door closed, the next area loads. And it, it, like, glitches slightly when you step through past a certain point. And then the, the area is loaded, and then you can just explore. So it doesn't feel like you're loading anything. Like, there's no loading screen. It just kind of happens. But that's why hallways like this exist, other than for extra spooks. Also, man... A lot of this is blocked off. Like, this is this is the furthest I can go here. I can't even try to stick my head out there because of how far that is. It's weird. God, someone inflated the prices for water. Water is expensive now, guys. You know this. This is what happens. Eventually, maybe you guys will learn your lesson and prices will go back down. But until I can guarantee that you guys have learned your lessons, then, unfortunately, prices will be quite high. But only for some things. That's why E is still so cheap. Oh, man. I don't know why my left ear is very uncomfortable right now in the headset. A lot of adjustment things. I'm sorry, guys. This is why you guys hopefully uh, will enjoy the edited versions uh, better. Because, like, the Ruin in VR, VOD, is, like, ten and a half hours long. The edited video for that is, like, an hour and 45 minutes. So... I know you guys uh, will enjoy those videos, especially just because of the editing that we've done with those. Whoa. Oh, hey, there's the entrance with that random trigger box again. Weird. That's cool to see. But yeah, I know you guys will like the edited versions a lot, because <laughs> instead of having to sit through all these moments where I'm, like, adjusting things, you'll actually get to see all the cool action moments. Especially if you guys aren't here for the whole thing, because I don't expect you guys to sit through ten hours of VR stuff. See, because now I can get here, and I... Whoa, okay, so that's just that area. Cool. We'll be there in a minute. I don't need to look through that. So it is all loaded. Interesting. All right. Hey, Andreas, welcome in. How you doing? Chat strike. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Let's let, let's carry on before this takes me forty hours to get through. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't. I promise I don't mean to punch the microphone. All right, you guys gotta help me find the orange tape. I don't know where that one is here. Oh, that's weird. Not out here. I think. Just dark. Oh, it's a wall. All right. 
It sucks that this seems to have a lot of, like, double walls. Whoa, the lag over here. All right, uh, here's what we're going to do, because this area is definitely too laggy for this. We are going to... Oh, I forgot to do this as well. I will switch that back. Oh, it's at best again. We're going to do this. So it was at the best setting. Cool. All right. We'll turn that on as well. Well, I wish I knew that earlier. All right, uh, and I will now do this again. Cool. Okay. Whoa, why is that blurry? Wait a second. No, hold on. That's not. That also didn't fix the lag issue. Why does that look so much worse? Uh, Jesus Christ, that is god awful. <laughs> what a quality difference. All right. Um. Guess I'm bringing the graphics up to best again. The shadows is the problem. So if I do that, that should be fine. And nope, we're still, oh, that lag. That lag is insane. And that quality is low. Maybe it's not. Maybe it just looks low because it's really far. That looks weird. Oh, about this game I played it so long ago. It looks odd in VR. It does. It looks weird, but it looks cool. Like this weirdly looks realistic in a way. We're gonna take breaks. I agree, Huggy. Actually, I completely disagree. I never take breaks. I mean, I agree. I, I agree that you should. I'm just stupid and don't. Does it look good for you guys? Is it smooth? Is it lagging over here? Because it looks like it's lagging in this direction for me, slightly. Uh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stare at you. I'm going to use you as my guidance here, oops, to change the settings. Because if we just go, like, basic. Okay, we'll go, we'll go basic entirely. Everything's going to be basic. And hopefully that, whoa, oh, it looks like garbage. Oh, it does look like garbage. What is that setting? What? Developers. Who what made you think that's a good idea? Graphics. Okay, it's that in general. So I'll just leave that at best and everything else at normal or lower. That's still not great. Wow. That is surprisingly awful. <laughs> at moments it does lag. That's really frustrating because it shouldn't be lagging at all. But I think it's the best we're going to have to deal with. For right now, I will hopefully change the settings back later, but we'll work with it for now. All right, give me this. Yeah. Boop. Nice. That's... Oh, it has a two on it. I never noticed that. All right, that one over there. Can I reach it? Oh, I think I can. Gib. Oh, you're too far. Wait, does... Isn't there a huggy there? Oh, maybe not yet. Okay. Oh. When we go back... Oh, the baby. Oh, the baby head. Why the baby head? Oh, it's awful. Oh, it's so awful. That's the worst thing. Ew. It's giant blue eyes and everything. Yuck, I have blue eyes and it's awful. I, not my, my blue eyes are fine. It's blue eyes are the worst. All right. I know the tape's around here somewhere. I just don't remember where it is. Also, by the way, guys, I think that uh, dubby code is actually technically wrong now. Not the code itself. The, the code is the same. I think the percent is now 20% off again. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to check if it's still active. But I'm pretty sure it's 20% again. So if you guys have been hesitant to try dubby and you guys are still interested in trying dubby, give it a shot. Now's the time to do it. All right, where's this orange tape? Wow. I didn't even notice that that looked like that was going to fall over. That's horrible. I don't fit here. Anything over here? Nothing. Okay. Well... I know the tape is on one of the shelves, I'm pretty sure at least. Like, where else would it be? That sounded stupid once I said it out loud. Where, where else would this tape be? Oh, hey. Um, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, all right. Can, can I, can I, any, any day now, any day now, any day now? What, really? All right, fine, I'll go around, I guess. 
unless the tape is here. There's a window there. That's weird. Oh, yeah, and there's, there, there's like... So this is all above ground. This is all meant to be seen. That's weird. Because later on, I feel like there's no windows in this game. Or like in Chapter 2 or Chapter 3, even. Weird. Huh. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Man, my poor forehead in the headset. Jesus. All right, how are we doing? Everything looking good? I think everything's still looking good. Are we running smooth? I think we're smooth. You guys, are we smooth? I think we're smooth. Thank God. Hopefully, we're actually smooth. It's not a lie. Nice. Oh, well, there's that. Gib. 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 What are you gibbing? All right, fine. I'll go around. Gib. 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 Nice. Okay, there's all of them, I think. Where is this tape? This tape is definitely in here, right? I'm not crazy. Whoa! Okay. Does the tape spawn randomly? I don't remember. Huh. I keep thinking that's it. That's not the tape. I can't even slap it. It couldn't be the tape if I can't even slap it. Well, we're about to get that. Are you there yet? I know you're going to be there. I think it happens if we go back around and back up like we're going to. Oh, man. <sighs> I keep getting very weird, like, feelings in my head in different positions just based on the way this headset's sitting. Sorry, I have to keep adjusting so much. All right. Am I just not gonna- I might just, I might not get the tape, unfortunately. Like, I don't- it's not gonna be any different in VR, so it really doesn't matter, but... Oh, that's weird. That's cool. That's really immersive, actually, funny enough. Anything that has, like, smooth movement is really immersive in VR. Is this area loaded? Is that what's causing this to be kind of laggy? No, it's not. Weird. Yeah, I am not- I am- yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find that tape. Are you there? Are you there yet? Oh, God! I never saw that before! Oh, that's awful! I know that's in the normal game, but oh, that's horrible! Yep, oh, and it just closes on him. Ew. Ew, that's the worst. I never noticed that before. Okay, here we go. It's just gonna crash down on us, isn't it? Oh wait, we can go down there. Yep. Whoa. That's trippy. That's cool. What are you? Get over here. Get get over here. Whoa. Sorry? Oh, you're just a dino head. I'm glad these are like Mr. Potato Heads. That's cool. Alright, I will uh, gladly take this. Okay. Okay, now we have two hands on our face. This is weird and trippy. I wanted to like look through that, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to see anything, and I don't think I can get through the wall. Let's let's try it real quick though. You ate the tape. Alright, that thanks Omni. Why did you why'd you eat the tape? I wanted to watch that. It's not meant to be food. Oh, that's trippy. What is up with the pipes? This is like bendy. Why do they need- they don't need the ink thrown- they don't need the ink flowing through the facility. What does that do for anybody? Alright, can I- whoa. Is that the vents? Oh, the, oh, we're like above the vents here. Interesting. And over there, you can see the vent there. Oh, there's weird stuff through that, too. Can I look through that? Whoa. Okay, yeah, you can't see inside the vents over there, but that's still cool to see. There's all kinds of weird stuff everywhere loaded all those lights down there like I don't even know what that is weird a little glossy too interesting all right down we go danger wait wait 
Time for gore. Gotta stick our head through first. I can't see anything. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to stick our head through while we do it then. Here we go. It's gonna load. I know it is. Yep, there it is. Okay, it just loads in. Cool. That's great. Nothing deloaded. Interesting. All right. Off we go. Oh, that's... Oh, that's uncomfy. Oh, that is so uncomfy. It looks real comfy from the outside. Man, it's all bright and sunshiny out here. Whoa! What is up with the spinning circle thing over there? That's weird. So all of this is loaded now. That's cool to see. But, uh, in here, that is awful. That is absolutely horrible. I do not want to go down that. Here we go. We Glad there was no sound effect to that at all. Oh, this. What is that? What was spinning? Okay, yeah, I know. I gotta grab. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, I remember this part. I remember. This part took me like an hour the first time I played this game. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I mean, we know that that's true, but still. Oh. Oh. It's sunlight. I can't even photosynthesize. Oh my god. Why is everybody... Why do you guys claim that you're in my basement all the time? I don't have a basement. <laughs> Whoa, what is down here? Whoa. Okay, so all of that unloaded, I think. Yep. Cool. Oh, excuse me. I still don't know what that is. It's just weird. Like, I know that that's... So... The reason there are all these cubes around this well, let me let me share some uh, developer insight with you guys. The reason there's all these giant stretched blank cubes around, those are to block lighting. So the way Unreal Engine handles lighting is we can have like one giant directional light or like point light or uh, sorry, uh, directional light or skylight or something to to light the entire scene in general. But if there's ever like a one-sided wall, so like on the inside here, this isn't, but th what this should be is this should be one-sided wall. This, you should only see from the inside. From the outside, it should be blank and you should be able to see back in for performance purposes. So if that's ever the case, then the lighting can shine through this wall. So in areas where there are one-sided walls, they will place, developers will place these giant cubes to block the lighting. Uh, it's not the smartest way to do it. It's not the most uh, resource light, like uh, performance uh, optimized way to do it, but it works. So all these cubes are lighting blockers from the outside. So there's that way you can have like the directional light pointing in through the windows of the place like we saw earlier, but it, uh, it's not the same in areas that don't have windows like this area. This, this has no windows, so we want that lighting to be blocked. E. I'm a tyrant. Hey, boy, how's it going? All right. How does this one work? Right. Don't we just uh? Yeah, we do this. And then we drop. Then we go around. And then we smack. Yep. Whoa. And hey, we're going. Okay. Anything out here? I literally can't. It's. I can't move far enough. Oh, I can't move at all. All right. I guess we're just going. Oh, it's dark. Oh, I don't like how dark it is. Okay, now can I move? Nope. Oh, this is... Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. I'm like, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Oh, it's so trippy. Whoa. Oh, 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 we're this way now. Okay. Whoa. Oh, and we're in... We're in here. We're in it. Oh, it's laggy in that direction. Okay, if I look... If I look this way... And I turn around, it won't be laggy. Because I'm I'm loading what's that way. Whoa. Make a friend. Okay. Again, time to talk about scale. Nobody leaves without a toy. That's weird. Why would you why would you do this with your facility? It's just strange. Whoa. Okay. Well, only part of that's loaded. That's quite strange. That door has a weird little black box in it. That's also quite strange. What else is out there? Anything? Anything I can see? No. Sucks. Oh, my nose. I'm so sorry. My nose is killing me. Alright. 
Just instigating in Jones's chat. <laughs> uh, wonderful. You know, that is one of the best things you can do as a Twitch chatter. Well, that's a weird little sliver. One of the best things you can do as a, as a, as a Twitch chatter is to mess with the streamer. Like, I'm not inviting you guys to do that. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud, but it's great. Oh, I wish I could go in there. I mean, we are going to be able to, I think, see through these. No, it doesn't let you get close enough, does it? Probably not. Plus, most of it you can see in the normal game anyway. We can't get back there. That sucks. I know that those conveyor belts go down for a while, but we can't see that in the normal game, unfortunately. I don't know why they go down so far for so long. But, all right, let's talk scale for a second. Ugh, I need to itch my nose again. Jesus. <laughs> So, this room is gigantic. Make a friend. Like, this feels like I'm in a giant mall. Because, like, this makes me think of Build-A-Bear, obviously. I think anybody who lives in America, at least, when they see something like this, they think Build-A-Bear. Um, this feels like that, but in a way that we've never seen before. Because Build-A-Bear never looks like this. Build-A-Bear is usually, like, the size of this red box thing is, like, that ceiling height would be the ceiling height of that Build-A-Bear in the mall. But instead, it's like twice that, which is insane. But at the same time, weirdly, maybe I'm just getting used to these in VR, but weirdly, like, this doesn't look that huge. Like, this feels way more reasonable for what it is as, like, a toy machine, toy-making machine. This feels more, way more reasonable in VR in terms of scale. Like, it feels like whatever these things are doing, which is, like, building the toy, cleaning the toy, quality control for the toy, whatever it is, like, this feels accurate to the size that it would need to be to make that happen. It doesn't feel too large or too small, weirdly enough. These pipes feel extremely unnecessary and large, but in terms of, like, the design of this place, it feels like all of the scale of everything is necessary, except for the ceiling. Like, the actual size of the factory feels like twice as large as it needs to be, while everything within feels accurate. It's weird. Oh, man. Oh, my nose! Whoa. Hello, hand. Oh, man. Alright. Huggies chase... Did I miss something about Huggies chase scene? Huggies chase scene will be crazy. Oh, I didn't read that. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Huggies chase scene I'm very excited for. Oh, my nose. What's up with the rust on the walls? Like, how... If this place still has power. Why? Oh, and these are still running. Okay, that makes total sense. Alright, we have to do this, right? No. Is that not what we're doing? What are we doing? Oh. Right, we gotta give this place power. I remember. Whoa, the lag. Okay, don't mind the lag there. If it starts lagging like crazy, scream at me. You guys know what to do. Huh. Oh, also, real quick, for any of those of you who are nerding out about how this all works, which I know are some of you, I know it's me, um, what I did last time for Ruin to make this work was I turned off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and I turned off DLSS in Security Breach. And that fixed it, but also made everything lag a lot. In, like, the actual stream lagged a lot. So, what I did was I turned back on accelerated GPU scheduling, whatever it is. Um, and this game doesn't have DLSS, so that was off by default. Um, and it seems like this game is having no problem running smooth without screen tearing, without lag. Like, the lag, there, there's, there's some lag sometimes, of course. This game isn't super heavily optimized. Um, but there's no screen tearing, which was the big issue with the GPU scheduling before. So, it's interesting to see this work and not really have any problems. Oh, I missed. And that worked. Cool. There's uh, an amount of abandoned places where lights are still on. Yeah, but not for this long. Like, this is ten years later, supposedly. Someone is paying to keep this place on. Like, if it were truly abandoned, that would have changed a long time ago. Alright, now I do this. I remember this puzzle. Do this. 
Okay or not? Wait, what? Does this work? Oh, that's how this works. Not yet. Okay, this area is gonna lag, and I did just see a little bit of screen tearing after I said that, of course, which is annoying. But, alright. So I do this. Nope, I do. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, how do I. Wait, how does this one work? I do that. Um. Oh, okay, so now I do this. Oh, that's what it is. I do this. No, wait! I fell! Okay. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> uh. Yes, you probably- yes, uh, Rose, please, please do. Please, uh, warnings. I, I forget to do that every time. But yeah, every single VR game that we do that's not meant to be in VR, even if it is meant to be, be in VR, at least put a motion sickness warning. But in this case, it, I mean, it's a horror game too, so flashing lights and everything, but yeah. Warnings like that are always necessary for VR stuff whenever we do that. I just always forget to mention it. Also, there's a pink tape in here somewhere. I don't know where that would be. I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna take... Nope, I'm gonna take you. Now, okay, it's gotta be like this. Okay, wait, no. So now, now that we're here, we gotta... Whoops. Whoa, okay, the lag is making this very difficult. Yep. Okay. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Of course I did. Can I reach it from here? Probably not. All right. Fine. Oh, the lag, man. After talking about how the lag was gone, the lag sure did come back with a vengeance. All right. Grab this. Pull it. Okay. Now, I go this way. I go. What do I do? Like. Go like this. No, because this is this is the same issue. It's it's going too far. So what I do? Nope, not that. Nope, not that. I do this. No, I do I do this. And then that's. Nope, that's not gonna work because that's not enough, right? Yeah, no. It does need both. So I would have to do oh I'd have to do this. And this, and then we have the same issue again because it's not. It is long enough to reach. It is. I'm an idiot. Yay. All right. Thank you, Rose. I appreciate it. All right. Ow. Oh, itchy nose. Okay. Bam. All right. We got power and we got lag. Now we just gotta hop down. Why is it glitching? Or not glitching. Why is it that the game isn't glitching? Why was that glitching? Can I walk along this? Nope. I phase through it. Oh. Right, fall damage. That's a thing in this game. Why? <laughs> now, how do I... Was I supposed to press something else? Was I supposed to do something up there? Uh... Oh, no, I just do this, don't I? No, wait, I don't? What? Oh, this! The power's on! Alright. Oh, itchy nose! Why? Why every single time I play a VR game does my nose go into super itch mode. I don't understand it. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Also, look at that. Look at that. The, the power on thing is floating. The text is floating. I get it. It's a UI thing. but Or actually, it might just be a real text. That's weird. Power on? Did I do it? Jesus! That's not necessary! But they're awake! Yeah, I love the dancing eyes. That's funny. All right, so one must. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to create a toy now. Right. All right. Before we continue, I want to see if anything else is loaded now. It's all the same. Oh yeah, it's all the same. It's weird what walls are loaded and what walls aren't. Also, I didn't check through here. I should have checked through this before. Oh yep, nothing there yet. All those. Wow. Okay, look. All those tubes do actually go somewhere. Like they they go off to the side. I guess that makes sense. Whoa, lag. Oh, my nose, why? Oh, please stop. Oh, whatever you do, just stop being a nose. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ow. Okay. 
Yeah, so you can see those like conveyor belts. They come, there, there's stuff coming from those. But instead of just like having a re, uh, like a black cube there, like I would, like, like just a pitch black cube to stop it, they have these tunnels that actually go out. Why would they do that? That's so stupid for performance. Ugh. Can we go over here? Can we do this? No, of course not. But we can look through this wall, I think. Stop the north in the day. That's a weird sign to have. Whoa! Right, okay, so there's the stuff that deloaded. There's that down there. Why is that loaded? What even is that? Oh, is that how we got here? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Oh. I really wish my nose would stop doing this to me. Because it, it's awful. I don't know if you guys understand. If you guys have been in VR before, usually it doesn't happen. I don't think it does. I don't think it happens if I'm not talking. But when I'm talking in the VR headset, for whatever reason, it's like it creates this perfect airflow straight up into the headset into my nose to cause nose problems. Oh, it went silent. Why? That's quite strange. All right, I guess. Oh, you're waiting for me, aren't you? Or not. Alright. Well then. I guess we'll do this. Yay. No, can I... Can I... There we go. Alright. Sweet. Let's follow it. Let's follow it down the line. It's going over here. Oh, we're not going to be able to follow it back there. Of course not. Alright. Well, it's going to go around the corner and it's going to go through this dude's mouth. It's gonna go, come out of here. It's gonna be all foggy or whatever. Probably. I don't like that the sound stopped. That's weird. Oh. Did it heat it up? Oh, it painted it. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't like that they're all in separate pieces. And I also don't like that the separate pieces all got painted perfectly. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, and what? Now you're going into assembly? Is that what this is? Uh, uh, see ya. G good luck in there. I don't like that your eyes follow me. All right now, get sped out the back. Yep, that was assembly. All right. Now what? Whoa. Uh, you're being obliterated. It's that one scene in the cube. Oh, well, you disappeared and created a new one. Why? Why was that necessary? Right, what well, is that? them infusing soul into you or something also you're huge okay now is an interesting point right we grab that toy and then we go over here and we give it to this did this load no it didn't okay so that's gonna load once we put the toy in interesting it's interesting the way things are loading in these games cause it's never how I'm expecting it to at least not like fully. Also, there's a pink tape here somewhere, I think. Right? There's gotta be a pink tape around here. Unless it was before and we missed it. Which is annoying and sucks. Also, floating box. Small. Oh, not floating anymore. I fixed it. Okay. Wait a second. It's back here, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's tripping. It's tripping me out. It's driven me out. I have hairs on my nose. Why? Okay, it wasn't... I thought it would have been back there. Under the stairs. I don't like that I can still hear the vents back there. Ugh. Alright. I think that's blood. You, you think what's blood? I have no idea what specifically you're talking about. What is that? Like a hook? Like an injector? I don't get that. Also, why could I stand on this? That seems extremely dangerous to the children who are supposed to be coming through here, I think, for factory tours. This is like weirdly making me think of Willy Wonka. Like this factory, this feels like a cross between obviously mascot horror, Five Nights at Freddy's type stuff with Willy Wonka. That's an interesting. Uh, that's an interesting comparison that I didn't think of until now. 
Okay, I'm gonna check one last time for the tape up here because we haven't gotten two of the tapes and that's annoying. But I'm not expecting to get all the tapes anyway. There's that. Oh man, oh this nose. Man, if you guys have any suggestions on how to get rid of nose itching, that would be lovely and much appreciated. Alright, maybe it's not. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be up here. It is weird that we can see all of this. And there's windows again. Weird. Doesn't even look like there's light coming through. Conveyor belts just running, pushing toys through. Like, if this place is abandoned, where are those toys coming from? Why are there so many boxes that they can push through? There's so many questions. Is it over here? No. Huh. Oh, that's why it goes down kind of far. Is If you have low graphic settings, you can probably see all the conveyor belts down there. Interesting. Still doesn't really make sense, but... Ah, God, I broke my legs. I'm sorry. All right. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Behind the fencing? Oh, the blood. There's blood behind the fencing? Oh, the boxes. Oh, the boxes. Whoa, the boxes. Calm down. Um, I'm not seeing any blood. I just see red tiles. I'm sure it's probably fine. All right, can I look inside the... I didn't look in this. Can I get up close enough to see that? Probably not. Well, it's just a slide, so that's something. Um, well, I can see this up close. Yeah, most of this isn't going to be that much different in VR, but that's okay. Oh, oh, there's blood up there. That's quite interesting. No, that's rust. That's rust for sure. All right. Here it goes. Okay, put that on, and we're going to see this spawn. So this is all good. Yep, there it goes. It fixed itself. Whoa. Oh, it's open immediately. That's why. Toy accepted. Cool. Great. Oh, boy. All right. We're going to die immediately here. This is uh, this is a necessary immediate death. I would love it if the nose itching would go away for this. This, this, is, this is an important moment. Also, we have to check this first. Because this definitely loaded. Unless this loads after. Oh, my God. It does. That's dumb. <laughs> that's a really dumb way to load. It should have loaded there with this, since that's part of the chase scene. Alright. That's fine. I would, uh... Love to see what's out here. Nothing? Well, that door obviously goes nowhere, because there's a wall there. This again. Whoa. Well, hello, random walls. I don't know how close you can get. Whoa! Okay, well, there's all that again. Interesting. Okay, there's the entrance again. Oh boy. <laughs> I hate how dark it is. Oh, I hate how dark it is. Alright. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, he's huge! Okay, well, we had to get jump scared by him. But, uh, uh, high five, buddy. My hand got stuck in the door. Um, let me just slap you in the face. I can't slap you in the face anymore, apparently. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that's awful. Oh, the, the polygons. All right, well, I gotta, whoa, you, interesting. I gotta stand up for that. Oh, no, it's gonna automatically load me out. No, no, don't load. Don't- Oh, it loaded! That's not what I wanted. Alright, we're gonna do it again so I can get a better look. Okay, I wanna stand up when that happens. Whew. The polygons. That is horrifying. Oh, Jesus, every time. That is horrible! Look at his lips moving! Yuck! Alright, come get me, buddy. Come get me, buddy. I'm gonna look down here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, if I stand up, I'm in his mouth. Oh my god! Oh, he's huge! He's so big! He's way bigger now! Jesus. Alright, let's get back into position. Okay. Man. He is significantly bigger there 
than he is at that beginning moment. Or maybe it's just because he's chasing me, but it feels like he is so much bigger there. Alright, why am I off? The... Nah, that's weird. That feels off. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try to escape this time. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. Run! Run this way! Okay, now it loaded all this. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, can I see him? Or does he just go away? Oh, he's just gone. Okay. Weird. Yeah, he deloads himself there. Okay. Cool. Here we oh, this is the worst. This is gonna be the worst. Oh my god, I forgot how miserable this is. Oh boy. All right, nice shorts. Yeah, that. Thank you. Thank. You. I love my flamingo shorts. All right, here we go. Okay. Can I see them? No. But you can see the whole vent system. Oh, we're going. All the boxes over there stop loading. That whole area unloaded. Oh. Oh God. All right. Here we go. Oh Jesus Christ! Absolutely not. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is the worst. This is the absolute worst. Oh, no. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, my God. I had to see it again. Like, I, I can't... Oh, Jesus, you're huge. Oh, oh, bye, hands. Oh, oh, oh yuck. Oh, that is the worst. We're gonna do this a few times because we're gonna, we have to see it from different perspectives. But oh, good lord, that's horrible. Whew. And we're, we're loading. We lo we good. We good game. Everything good. Are you guys good? Are we smooth? Is everything is everything good? Uh. Oh, the game crashed. Oh. Corrupt data found. Please verify your installation. What? Excuse me? Fatal error. Well. That happened. Right. Pop the playtime. Inject. Please work. Don't mess with my eyes this time. Just work like normal. Oh, it's real wobbly. Oh, and we're good. Okay. Thank God. Everything's back. Okay, we can we can continue now. Yay! It worked. All right. Here we go. All right. Well, I kind of want to die more to that area, but I think that'll just happen naturally. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate him so much. He is so weirdly glossy. It's the worst. Doesn't he, like, oh, well, it closed now, and now he's just gone. That part kind of sucks. I wish we could see him disappear. All right, down we go. Oh, boy. Oh, I hate it. Where do you go? Oh. You appear. Oh, okay, yep. We're just gonna go. I'm not even gonna attempt to see this area. Yuck. Oh, it's the worst every single time. All right, just go. Just keep running. Just keep running. Do not even attempt to look back. Oh, the glitching. Whoa. Okay, we have to just go. I don't get options. Oh, that sound. Oh, that sound is the worst. Yuck. Yuck. Oh, yuck. And then down. And then run. Okay. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, right. Oh, yuck. Oh, oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, I know. Don't, don't turn back. Just, oh, this. Oh, no. Don't turn back. I literally can't. The flashlight doesn't let me see him. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God, it's the worst. That chase is awful. Oh, Jesus. Where'd you go? You're going down. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's awful. It does kind of suck because if you turn around, the flashlight isn't behind you. So, like, the flashlight doesn't follow my head. I wonder if it would have if the interaction was... No, I don't think it would. 
Um, that's weird. Maybe we'll try that chase again, unless it just saved. Okay, actually, let's yeah, let's let's see if we can't see that chase again if I exit out. Um, load game. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Let's load it. Let's see if we load here or if we load at the previous area. Okay, we load here. Good. Let's uh, let's let's see that again because I want to I want to look back. I'm gonna do this. Wow, none of that was words. Uh, input. I'm gonna aim with the head. Oh wait, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, I don't think at least. Because then if I look back, I'll start running towards them. <laughs> We're gonna try it. Let's try it and find out. Whoa, hi box. All right, let's let's find out. Oh my God, that's the worst. All right, if we get in here. Okay, it does it does follow my head, but we're gonna run in the wrong direction when we do that. Yuck! Check void when I get the chance. All right, I will. All right, this is gonna be horrible. Hey, buddy, you're the worst. I just want to look back at that final section. I don't want to look back now because I'll die if I do. Oh, this is horrible. Down here, run. Just keep running. Just keep swimming. Oh, the glitching here is really unfortunate. Hope that doesn't lag too much for you guys. I'm trying to use my mouse and not turn my head. So if I turn my head, I'll screw myself over here. Just keep going. Crouch. Okay, go. Run. 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 Oh, Jesus. Okay, that. Okay, yep. There's you. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, 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 no, that doesn't work. Yep, nope, not gonna work. Go. Okay, yep, we're not doing that. Nope, that does not work. Because I, yeah, I felt that. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, yeah, no, I felt my whole body turn and start running back in that direction. That does not... Nope, we're going back to this. <sighs> Jesus. Wow. Okay. Actually, it definitely went into the void. Voice and voice chat got jump scared. Uh, chase scene always gets me no matter what. It really... That chase scene is horrifying. Every single time. Wow. We got through it surprisingly easily. The first time I did that, I died like three or four times just because I didn't know where to go. Wow, okay. Another moment of just, like, looking at the scale of this place is wild. What is even down there? And why? Why do they need catwalks all the way down in this, like, giant silo or whatever this is supposed to be? I don't even know. Because, like, look, you look up and it's the same thing. There's just catwalks and conveyor belts and everything going in a bunch of... What? Me? Why am I hearing me? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, bye, me. Um, that was strange. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just like, what? Where's the point? Where do these go and why? Okay, I gotta look through walls if I can. I don't think there's walls to look through here. I can I fall off here? Okay, no. Well, that's weird. Ah. Uh. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get close enough to see through walls. I didn't bother looking through walls at the dur during the vent chase because I know it's, you're just gonna see a bunch of vents and that's it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get close enough to see through walls. That's just crazy. Just looking down, looking over like the edges is wild. All of this is so crazy. I know this is almost over. We're almost to the end. Like this is the end of this chapter. It's a weirdly short chapter. Oh, we missed a lot of these, though. Can I take you? Okay, I'll get to you in a second. Like, what? That one doesn't even go to anything. Look, that, that one, that's the end of it. That's the beginning of it. It's not connected to anything. You literally couldn't even get over there. This one, too. No, that one. Yeah, no, this one connects to nothing, too. What is the point of that? I don't get it. There's yellow conveyor belt, blue conveyor belt, red conveyor belt. Like, what even... 
Oh my god, looking up again, this feels like a Home Depot. It's so wild. Uh, I, I say this every single time. If you guys ever get the chance to play these games in VR, try them out for yourself. Because it's, a, it's an experience that I cannot possibly describe or translate to you guys in the slightest. Because, like, this, doing this, literally just doing that, like, right, right here, I'm moving my mouse around, right, that's normal. That's, that's what every VR game looks like when you play it, like this. Also, I forgot to do this. Um, back to here, I forgot to... And then also, that'll probably help with lag. Um, moving my mouse like this, right? That's normal. Everybody experiences that. What you don't get to experience is this. Where I get to look around, I get to look over edges. I get to look over the railing and look down at this. I get to tilt my head back and look up and feel like I'm here. Because I am. It's so wild to me. Alright. Put you in here. Let's see it. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained That's broken. and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Who was that talking? Like, I'm not worried about myself? Because he was like, well, another innovation. Is that the main dude? What's his name? Elliot Ludwig or whatever? I don't know. I don't know any of the lore of these games. Like, I, I know the lore, but I don't know the lore. You know, like, I know the story slightly, but I don't know any of the lore and how it connects. Um, I noticed that texture is off, if that's even supposed to be a texture. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's just going at an angle like that. That's weird. That really doesn't make any sense, but sure. It's so weird. I don't know how that connects at all, but... Yay! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's end this. Time. To head out. How are we doing? Everything good? Everything looking good? Everything smooth? I think so. I think we're smooth. Yeah, everything's smooth. Okay, good. Except for when that happens, when the lag slightly happens there. Alright. Here we go. No, run, no, stop, danger, go, go back, turn around. Yeah, I get it. Wow. That's not scary at all. Oh, that's probably against TOS, actually. Horrible. What are they hanging from? How do, how are those tied up there? That doesn't make any sense. And why are they bloody? And why is there a giant painted flower? Who painted this flower? Like, who was ballsy enough to paint this flower? Like, you had to have been dangling above death. You saw how Huggy fell there. No one's coming back from that. Alright. Okay, we gotta peek through this first. This is the first wall we can look through. Yep, okay. Well, guess I should have expected that. Down here. Whoa. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, I think everything else is on the... Look how far down that goes. Jesus. That's so unnecessary. How high up does it go? Oh, can I even see? Not really. Was that lightning? Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's so hard to see. Whoa. Um, I think your lampshade's broken. There's no inside of it. <laughs> that's weird. All right. Down we go. I don't like that the music starts immediately. Why do I step so fast? This is it. There's nothing really left to see here. Except for the fact that I feel like I'm in a house. Oh, this is trippy. This just really makes me excited for uh, Chapter 3 in VR. Oh, God. I hate it, too, because this feels like PT. Which I believe had a VR remake at some point. Yeah, this wall goes, or this door goes nowhere, obviously. Yeah. 
I love how, like, short, well put together, and mysterious this chapter is. Because it sets up so much. It doesn't feel long enough to be a chapter one, for sure, but it is definitely like a great little introduction to what Poppy Playtime is and can be. Yuck. I hate it. Because they have it set up exactly like the Annabelle doll. That's the worst. Yeah, nothing special except for a random extra wall on this side for some reason, but not on this side? Huh. Weird. Hate it. I hate you, Poppy. You are the worst. Also, can I just say, now, being in VR, Poppy is massive. This is a doll for children. Poppy's head is bigger than my head. That is awful. Who would get their child that? Also, why does that spin? That doesn't make sense. Okay, nothing back here, obviously. It's the end, so why would they have any secrets out of bounds? They wouldn't. But I have to check anyway, just in case. Yeah, nothing. It's just... Ugh. Yuck. You are way too big. There's no reason anybody would buy this doll. Alright. Yeah, PT was deleted, but somebody made a remake for, in, for it in VR, which is very cool. Oh, oh, her eyes. Ew. Oh, I never noticed that before. You opened my case. I sure did, Poppy. I'm sorry. And there we have it. Chapter one, a tight squeeze. Wow, those are fast quidditch. Qu 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 those are some fast quidditch. Jesus. Wow. Well, there you have it. So that was Poppy Playtime Chapter One in VR. That is where we're going to leave things today. I cannot believe, for the first- guys, can you believe it? We got through a, a VR injection in one stream. We got through the whole game in one stream. This never happens. We always have so many problems. I mean, we did have problems. But we always have so many problems that we're never able to get through in the, the whole game in the first stream. Um, Security Breach took, I think, like, ten streams in total. Just like having to end stream, restart my computer. We did, like, ten streams of it. Uh, Ruin, we did three. Uh, I, I'm, I, I knew going in this was a much shorter chapter than, um, than everything else. Th this game was much shorter, like, chapter one itself, the whole game, is much shorter than everything else we've done in VR up to this point. But I wasn't sure going in, especially after we spent so long in, like, the first couple of rooms. I wasn't sure how well it would go. Uh, and then with the whole verification issue, I wasn't sure if that was going to cause more problems, but we got through it. Chapter one is now complete. So soon, so we're going to edit this down. Um, Anders and I are going to work together on this one. We're going to, uh, we're, we're going to do a little experiment with it and we're going to edit this one down for not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after next for the new channel. So this will be going up very soon, which means later on either maybe next week, maybe we'll wait until this video goes up, then we'll do chapter two. Now, depending on how I edit this video down and depending on how I feel about it, we might combine uh, chapters one and two into one video. I don't think I'm going to do that, but we might do that depending on how it goes. We'll see. I hope at some point, also I want to say this now, I hope at some point in the future for Poppy Playtime, we get to experience uh, the outside of the facility. Because look at this. Like That looks, that makes no sense. There's no way this is a real facility, you know? But I really want to see it. Because obviously it's not a real facility, but they're going to make it into a real facility. You can see that's the entrance. That's where we just were. I want to see the outside at some point. Like, I want to actually be there. Or just like, hopefully there's like a courtyard or something at some point in the in, in the center area. I want to experience that too. That would be really cool. Whatever. None of that matters. Yeah, and under two... Wow, that was under two hours? Wow. Well, this will be an easy video to edit then. Maybe, hopefully, probably... Um, so yeah, thank you guys for joining me on this journey. We'll be back with more of this probably next week or the week after. I'll let you guys know. You guys know. Be in the Discord if you haven't already. Um, if you guys have not seen the Security Breach in VR video or the Security Breach Ruin in VR video, they're edited versions of the VODs. If you haven't seen those yet, 
Go on YouTube right now, now that we're ending stream, and search for I played all of Security Breach in VR. It will take you to that video, it will take you to the new channel. It is not up on my, uh, on Planet Venom anymore. That video is not on Planet Venom anymore. It is unlisted, it is, it will not show up in search. The only version of that video that will show up is the video on the new channel. So search for that, or you can search for I Played Ruin in VR. Uh, I haven't tested that search, but I think that will also take you to, like, that should pop up as well. So go search for that. I'm not going to link it for a lot of reasons. I won't explain it, but um, go search for that video. Go subscribe to the new channel. Watch those videos if you haven't already. And uh, this video will be going up uh, not next week, the week after. Next Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday after next. It's hard, to, it's hard to say. But thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will now just uh, wave and then I will start ending the stream because I don't know how to do this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. Go watch those videos that already. Subscribe to the new channel. You guys know the deal. I'm going to keep pushing for that because it's very cool. Uh, and there's a lot of really cool stuff happening over there. And it's going to be great. This is going to be an awesome new journey. Thank you guys for being here with me for it. So yeah. See you guys later. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.